This video will show you how to collect student information and parent information using a Google form and then export those responses to make your job easier. So after you download and open the PDF document, you're going to go ahead and click on the yellow button for the Google form. It will then prompt you to make a copy of the student information form. Make sure you are signed into the Google account that you would like this student information form housed in. Um, probably not your personal Google account, but your school. Go ahead and click make a copy. This copy will live within your Google Drive so that you won't need to worry about student information being shared with anyone here, but it will only be shared within your personal or school Google Drive, wherever you have this form housed. Um, what you can do now that you have your copy, you can rename it. You can also, um, you can change anything in here. You can change the directions. If there are any of the things listed out that you do not want, um, or if you want different wording, you can adjust those. You can delete it by just clicking on the trash can. If there's something else you want to add, you can add it by clicking the plus over here and add another question box like this. If there is something that you would like to change from an item type, for example, this one is a multiple choice. If you wanna change it to um, a paragraph answer, you can click on that and then they can just type it in. If you want to undo what you did, you can click like that. Um, and then go ahead and fill in if you want to make a question required. This little toggle shows you that it's required or not. And the little red asterisk also shows you on this side if it is required or not. Um, if you want to get more in depth with your editing, you can also click the customized theme. And here you can change the fonts. You can change the colors and add more colors and adjust like that as well. If you want to preview what it looks like, you can just click the I button and that will show you a preview of what it's gonna look like for the parents when they open up the form to fill it out. When you have it all done and ready to go, you wanna go ahead and toggle over here to make sure that the settings are the way you want it to be. Um, I recommend looking at the responses. Do you wanna collect email addresses? Do you want the responders to get a copy of what they said? Do you want them to be able to edit do you want to limit to certain users? I recommend not doing that. Um, just double check because if you're on a school district Google Drive account, sometimes it automatically restricts it. So just double check that it's not because parents are typically not within your school district on their email address. Um, you can limit to one response. I also recommend not having that on because you could have multiple parents or guardians be filling it out. Um, and then when you're all ready to send it, you're gonna click the send button and then here are some options. You can email it. So if you already have parent emails, you could type in their email addresses right here and type in a message, a subject, things like that. Um, most often people use the link. So if you click here, here's the link and you can shorten it so it's not so long and here's a link and then you can share that link within an email or um, a text message, class dojo board, anything like that. Um, if you already do have a class website and you want to put it on the class website, you can embed the form as well from here. So grab the type of sharing that you would like to share it with. If you have a class Facebook page, you can share it that way as well. And then what will happen is when people respond, all the responses will show up here within your original form in your Google Drive and the responses will show up here. So now I have one response. So here you can view the response. If you're ready to turn off getting responses, you can toggle this off and then people won't be able to continue filling it out even if they have the link. Um, I recommend keeping that on as long as you are requesting parents to fill it out. Um, the student's name, this is showing the summary of the responses. So right now I just have one response, but as I get more, it will show a summary of the different ways they will go home. It will list out the different things that the parents have filled in. You can also look at it question by question like this. You can also look at it individually. If you just wanna see the whole thing from one person, you can look at it this way. 
One thing that was really nice is you can print things out as well, and then you can export to a spreadsheet. So if I click on this, I'm gonna create a new spreadsheet. And then when I have my new spreadsheet open, this is where I can see right now at a glance all of the information that parents filled out. I can see when they filled it out, and then I can see there's a column for every single thing that they filled out on the form. So this is a really nice way to be able to get all of your parents' names, all of your parent phone numbers, all of your parents' email addresses in one place, and not having to retype them from a printable handout that they wrote in and wondering what those words say in their email address um, and wondering if it's a J or an I. <laughs> um, and then you can see at a glance all the list of all the student allergies. You can let see at a glance if you if they want the students to celebrate any other comments things like that you can take all of these emails copy them put them into your email um, contact directory so that you can easily make an email list or upload all of those into class dojo or anything like that so using the student responses google form really is going to help you um, maximize and be efficient with collecting student information from your students and families.